Hey y'all, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad we could hang out again today. Today, we are going to be doing something fun, something I should have done last month, but I didn't because I was really busy and time got away from me. But today, we are doing Know the Novel Part 2 and 3. I was supposed to do Part 2 last month, but now happened. If you kind of want to know what happened in November, you can watch the video. I'll put a card somewhere here. Um, but anyway, today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my novel, Escape from Mathabo. It is a science fiction story. If you missed the first part of the Nova the Novel link up, I will leave it up here and down below so you can go watch that. You might want to watch it first so you can get a little bit of an idea of what the story is about because this is going to be more focused on how writing went and also what my plans are for the future more than really about the novel itself. So anyway, also if you would like to participate in this link up, I will leave the link to Christine's post down below in the description box so that you can go and support her. She's super awesome and I highly, highly recommend you go and participate as well. But anyway, let's get right into the questions. Uh, the first question is how is the writing going overall? It started out kind of rough. Um, when I first started writing it, it was like in the end of May, beginning of June. I had intended on finishing it in September, but that didn't happen. Um, it was the drafting went a whole lot slower than I expected, um, which is fine. Like sometimes it takes a whole while, and my drafting muscles aren't really in shape right at the moment. I've been editing a lot the past couple years, and so I haven't really drafted a whole lot. And it's really, it really takes me a little bit more time to actually draft something nowadays. So um, I'm still working on it. I plan to be finished by the end of the month. But anyway, writing is going well now. I've kind of picked up the pace after uh, NaNoWriMo and things are going a little bit better. So I'm very happy about that. The next question is, what has been the most fun aspect about writing this novel so far? I'm really enjoying writing about the speeders. So they're kind of like the ships that they fly around in. Basically they're equivalent of a car. And that has been really fun because it's kind of something new, something I'm bringing to it. And I haven't really written anything about them before, so that's been really kind of fun. I've really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, definitely the speeders. That's kind of my sci-fi bit that I've been really having fun with. So I think that's been the most fun. What do you think of your characters at this point, and who is your favorite to write about? I kind of like my characters. I'm not quite so certain about how they are right now, but I have some plans on how I would like them to um, what they, I would like them to turn into after um, some edits. I really like Riska. She's probably my favorite. Um, her characteristics have been the most consistent with what I envisioned. But like Yuri's at the beginning, he was kind of whiny and not really the type of character I was going for. So I think there's going to be some changes during edits on his character. But I'm really excited with how he's hopefully going to turn out. Um, but his character at the beginning was not really in line with what I envision so yeah that he's probably gonna have to change quite a bit at the beginning but i'm really liking how he's turning out now at the end and the next question is has the novel surprised you in any way and yeah sort of um originally it was supposed to be 100 chapters uh it is no longer that it's less than 70 at this point there have been some changes again that i hadn't anticipated uh, a lot of the plot has changed um and that's why i'm i'm a plotter but i'm also like a flexible plotter like if something's not working I'm totally cool with cutting it I don't have to stick to the outline if it's not working yeah uh, I've had quite a few chapters cut um, and that's totally okay the novels turning out a lot shorter than I expected I mean I'm pretty sure it's gonna be bigger once I'm done editing I'm very much an underwriter so it's probably going to be quite a bit longer once I'm done but yeah, those two things kind of surprised me as I was expecting it to be it's a lot longer than it is, and that's really okay. The next question is, have you come across any problem areas? Yes, um, there have been a few things that have been kind of tricky. Um, namely, like again, Yuri's character was very much whiny at the beginning, and wasn't really who he was in my head. Um, so I have I had to struggle on trying to figure out how to write him, and. Um, Again, I had to cut quite a few chapters. Um, that was a big change. Um, action scenes are really hard for me to write and there's a lot of those in this book. Um, so yeah, there's been some sticky parts for sure. Um, and just pushing through, like drafting has been really hard this year. So um, that has proven to be quite sticky. And yeah, the next question is, what is your biggest victory writing this novel so far? Um, I guess getting to this point, it has been, um, I'm over halfway done uh, and I'm nearing the end. I'm very close to the end and 
that um, has been great. Um, you know, it took me a very long time to get to this point, so I'm happy to know that I am almost done, and that um, you know, once it's done, it, I can edit. I can go to my um, strong suit and really hone in on the story and make it as good as I know it can be, but it isn't right now. Um, and I can help the story reach its potential. Um, because it's really hard for me in drafting because like, I know how good a story can be, but it's not at that point right at the moment. And so I have, I have to push through drafting, the part I don't really like, to get to the editing point where I know I can make the story a whole lot better. Um, so. Yeah, the biggest victory so far is just getting past the halfway point and knowing that I'm almost done and that there is a finish line in sight for this first draft. Next question is kind of a turn off of what we've been talking about so far. Um, the next question is, if you were transported into your novel and became any one of your characters, which one would you do you think you would be? Would you be take any different actions than they have? And this is kind of hard because... Um, I don't really feel like any of the characters in this novel are like me per se like um, a lot of my novels there's some part of me in it and this one doesn't seem to have that as much um but if i were to be one character i'd probably be lesky who is ariska's best friend basically a sister to her um i'm not really sure i would make any changes like um again the characters have been kind of a struggle to pin down so like i don't know them as well as i would like um so it's kind of hard for me to tell you if I would make any changes from what they did um but I think I would be most like her yeah I really like her character um so that's like not an ego thing but like I I think I would be most like her so the next question is give us the first sentence or paragraph and then two or three fa more favorite snippets and I am actually kind of the worst at snippet hunting I don't like it it's not my thing uh, so I will give you the f opening line, sort of, there's a prologue, but um, as far as the opening line goes, it is, there are no graves on Mathabaw, and that is the opening line, um, but unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to go find you any other snippets because I am a lazy, lazy person and that's um, not my favorite thing to go do, so. I'll have to suffice with the first line. Next is share an interesting tidbit about the writing process so far. For example, have you made any hilarious typos, derailed from your outline, killed off a character, changed projects entirely, or anything of that nature? And again, I have derailed from my outline many times. Um, I have cut down at least 30 chapters from my original outline, um, which has kind of been a relief because if it's still with 100 chapters, I wouldn't even be halfway done. Um, and that would be really discouraging, so I'm glad that I was able to cut quite a few, um, especially because it's kind of like a, a YA-ish story, you know, it's probably better for the genre to be able to fit it into a shorter book than if I were to do 100 chapters, but yeah, um, there might be chapters added later, I don't know, I usually do add some chapters at least during the second draft, but um, I've derailed from my outline quite a bit, um, so yeah and then the last question for part two is give us a tour of your typical daily routine for writing um and this is pretty basic i am not a um aesthetic writer um that's just not who i am i typically i go through my morning routine which i can do a video on that if you're interested but that's a very lengthy thing so i don't really want to go into it here but i go through my morning routine then I go up to my office. I usually like to knock out email first. I'm just like getting that out of the way. Um, so I do email for about 30 minutes. And then I start off with a warm up type project. So something that's short or fun or whatever. I write that for about 30 minutes. And then I move into whatever my main project is for the day. And so for this, um, I usually will write like a, maybe a flash fiction or something. I don't know. And then I will. Um, do my writing for this so two chapters a day per weekday um and that usually takes me about an hour ish i usually do 10 minutes on five minutes off i usually use the cuckoo timer um which i will leave the link down below i learned about it from great cry um it's really been a fun timer it does have some bugs and it gets sticky sometimes but i like using it because it's kind of cute but that's just my normal writing process uh, it takes me about an hour to write two chapters and um yeah 
uh, nothing fancy, no candles, no music really. I just get an ambiance video off of YouTube and play it. Um, just kind of depending on how much, how focused I am that day. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Uh, but that's my t typical writing routine for that. Um, so anyway, let's move into part three. How did writing this novel go all around? And again, it's been going well, it's been going slow, but um, I'm almost done. I hope to finish by the end of the year and then I can alpha the story and then move towards publication. Um, but yeah, it's been going pretty well. It's been picking up. I've been enjoying getting into it a lot more. So that's, that's a positive. Question number two is, did it turn out like you expected or completely different? And how do you feel about the outcome? It, yes and no. It has been how I've expected, but also how, not how I've expected. I anticipated that it would be longer. I anticipated that my characters would be slightly different and I anticipated other scenes happening and they didn't, but at the same time, many of the things have been the same. So, you know, a lot of the action, a lot of the intrigue, all those types of things have been the same. Um, there's just been some differences, especially with the outline and the characters that I didn't anticipate, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Next is, what aspect of the story did you love writing about the most? Character, plot, setting, prose, etc. Currently, I've only really written dialogue and that is normal for my first drafts. I don't really put any character development, I don't really put any description or anything in my first drafts. Most of it is purely dialogue, um, which is fine with me. I um, am used to going in and adding all that during the revisions and so that's my plan is to go add all of that in. But uh, obviously dialogue is probably my favorite thing to write. I like doing that and I like writing introspective stuff and yeah so those types of things are probably my favorite to write. Next is what about your least favorite part and that would be currently the world building. I have a very hard time write, doing world building and especially because this is the sci-fi I have not really done sci-fi before so building the world has been kind of difficult. Um, so yeah, that's going to be definitely something to work on in the revisions and during draft two especially, is getting those details honed down and written into the story and all that figured out. Um, so that's probably my least favorite part is like trying to draft and remember all those details and it's just a lot to remember. The next question flows right into our, from what we just talked about, what do you feel needs the most work? And again, that would be the world building and needs the most work. Uh, closely followed by characters. Those, um, my characters are kind of mm, all over the place. They need a little bit of work, so yeah. Number six is how do you feel about your characters now? Who is your favorite, least favorite? Did anyone surprise you? Give us all the details. So I think Ariska is my favorite. Um, I like her character. She's very dedicated. She's very hardworking. She's very um, purposeful. I really like her character. Um, Yuri is growing on me now. Um, at first I didn't really like him because he was not at all what I was hoping for and he just his character at the beginning just didn't fit what I was expecting. So yeah, I don't know who my least favorite is. I guess it's Ariska's boss would be my least favorite. He's a jerk. Um, so yeah, I think he's my least favorite. Uh, did anyone surprise me? There was one character that popped in there that I hadn't planned on that kind of surprised me and that was really fun but I don't really want to give that name away because it's kind of a spoiler. So yeah. Next is what is your next plan of action for this novel? Um, I plan to finish it by the end of the year, Lord willing, and then I hope to have it alpha during the month of January um, and then do revisions based off of my alpha's feedback. And then I hope to open it up for beta readers and we'll see how that goes. Um, my plan is to, um, I think I'm allowed to talk about this, but my plan is to have it published by uh, September of next year um, through the Order of the Pen Press. I can look forward to that if I stay on target. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I hope that goes well. We'll see. Uh, it might be a lot of work. I might not be able to, but I hope to. Um, but those are my next plans. And again, that kind of answers the next question, which is if you could have your greatest dream realized for this novel, what would it be? Again, right now my dream is to just get it published. Um, I'm really excited about that. Um, this was kind of a novel I decided to write in order to help bolster the Order of Pen Press's catalog. 
um, because I kind of want to be a hybrid author, but this was one I knew I could write solely for the purpose of our business. So this will be my first solo project um, because all of these have been co-authored. Um, and then the uh, Prismatic Anthology again was a collaboration. So this will be my first solo project and that's very exciting. And then after that I guess I would love to see it as an audiobook but I don't know if that will happen. Um, we would like to do audiobooks in the future but we have not gotten to that point yet. So we will see. And then lastly, did you glean any writing and or life lessons from writing this novel? And I think my biggest takeaway is that it is okay if a project takes you much longer than you expected. Uh, this one has taken a lot longer to draft than I had originally planned. I had hoped to have already been done with it, but I wasn't and that's okay. Um, things happen um, and it's really good to be flexible and learn how to balance that out and be able to take life as it comes and not really worry about if you meet your deadlines exactly the way you had hoped that you can still make it work even if it's not exactly how you anticipated at the beginning. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing and yeah, I am excited to be able to share more about Escape from Mathabo as I finish drafting it, as I go through revisions, and as I pursue publication for it. I'm really excited um, and I hope you guys are too. Um, I think it's going to be a really fun story once I start revising it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the drafting part that's always kind of like sticky for me and it's like really hard to be able to be like, yeah, I can see this coming together. Um, but in the revisions, I'm like, I can, I can make it this work. It's going to go the way I hope it to. Um, so I am looking forward to being able to revise it and actually be able to make it pretty and so that you guys can go and read it hopefully in September. I'm very excited. I hope it actually works out. Um, we will see. Um, yeah, and stay tuned. I will hopefully be opening beta reader slots soon. So if you are interested in that, make sure to follow me on my other social medias. I'll leave the links to those down below. Uh, especially follow my newsletter because I will probably open that up them first. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to the new year. I'm really looking forward to finishing this draft. Um, that'll be a great way to end the year um, by having that done. Um, so yeah. I hope you're as excited as I am. I'm so glad we can hang out again today. I hope we can hang out again sometime soon. But until then, I hope you have a very blessed day. Bye.